thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. Uh, if it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Uh, does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasagami High. It was the closest. I don't mean to alarm you, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? Uh, yeah, it was, it was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. <laughs> three high school students knew more than the cops. Did... <laughs> Do one of them happen to look, uh, how do I put it? Did he look something like a gang member? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Mm-hmm. La, 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 la. Something smells here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, <it's> the, <laughs> <laughs> the recent disappearances. Between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions and no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Hmm. Sir? Don't beat me again, please. Yasugami Hai. The second <laughs> victim, Saki Konishi, and the two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Aren't we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon too. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. <clears throat> ah! Oh, I still have a lot of tofu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it tastes great. Luckily it's my favorite. Uh, not that you would know. <laughs> you visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? Her name. It's pronounced Rice. <laughs> <laughs> about the cases. I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen, this is a job for the police. Ugh. Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met... Rice Chan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why wasn't I invited? Oh. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. <laughs> so I can yell at him some more when you're not here. The tense atmosphere continues into the night. <laughs> A figure appeared. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a, a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl. <laughs> it's Risei Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. <laughs> Should you try killing Yosuke? Yes. Do it. Hey! We were right about being Risei Kujikawa. <laughs> <laughs> the one on tonight seems a lot creepier than the other. See her face clearly. There's no mistake. At least I could for a few seconds. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. Before I covered the screen. <laughs> I need to go do some cleaning. Bye. Um, I would turn down your noise suppression a little bit, Nine, because it's... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit, it moved. Okay. Oh.
It even showed her face this time. So, now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Um, broadcasted on TV. Seems to be the link. Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims were, are connected to the incident with Miss Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Gary said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. I'm on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is, how do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears, like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note, but who are they announcing it to? And for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. He, there's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Yeah, TA is best girl. Just nine <laughs> avoids TA. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know. <laughs> is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we are seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV, after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? Oh, I, I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, you might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like, it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Always nothing makes sense. You might want to mess with your settings a bit more. Hey, Kanji Kong. You are you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Did that come through fine? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, well, um... You weren't sleeping, were you? No, no, of course not! I was, uh, lost in Thwart. Thwart, Thwart, Thwart. I didn't know Thwart had an R in it. Oh, <laughs> it. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? Well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko Senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <sure> lovable. <laughs> Chie. <laughs> How about uh, you, Chie? <laughs> uh, Yukiko, there's always a slight chance you just don't realize it. <laughs> I want to murder you. But if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is, we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah, this time we'll catch him in the act. Mm-hmm. 